most frustrating things for me is, you know, I'm practicing and I just, I get really frustrated with myself when I start to. It is a little colder out this morning though, right? No, no, no. Oh, that's a worm. Dada, look, we have a worm in our backyard. Look. Yep, that's a worm. <laughs> If I say get out of the road, it means get out of the road. Okay? Okay. Not ready yet? Ready. Here's a here's a kind of a fun practice. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, kind of a, uh, a fun practice trick. I'm a big fan of restrictions, especially when practicing, putting some sort of restriction in place, something uh, that I'm not allowing myself to do, and that uh, forces me into different territory so that I just don't, because one of the most frustrating things for me is, you know, I'm practicing and I just, I get really frustrated with myself when I start to play, whether it's entirely by myself or using a play along, which I do rarely, but I'm kind of getting back into. And I did a lot of working like with Abersolds when I was younger. I have a, I have, there's a vlog on this about play alongs, but they're, they're great tools, but they can also, I've, I've misused them. I can end up just letting my ear sort of run the show and I wander all over the place. You know, I'm just like playing whatever. And before I know it, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really defining the harmony. What's going on here? I'm just sort of, you know that thing when you, you every time that part of the song comes around, you hit the same note. For instance, here, I'm, I'm playing Stella by Starlight, but uh, but like just with my left hand, like no no right hand allowed. And it's it forces you into different places than you would normally go. Because like, I wanna hit a certain note or continue a certain phrase and, and, I, and I can't go there. So just to restrict myself, I'll, I'll hold my, my phone while I'm doing this. It feels like a parlor trick, but it's a good shed. It's a good challenge. And the thing that's driving me nuts is I, I can't get an F sharp, an altissimo, any F sharp, an altissimo F sharp. I can get a G sharp, but only, uh, you know, in the bottom or in the middle, but not way up. I can't get like altissimo B flat. I'm sure if that I spent time working out weird fingerings for those things, I could, but that's not the point of the exercise. The point of the exercise is literally just to disrupt my normal patterns and, and put me in a different direction and force me to sort of improvise, improvise, improvise my way out of a out of a box. Watch your daddy. He's gonna make a funny face. Watch him. Not so. Can you be like a little more gentle up there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Buddy, are you smiling at all? Uh, <laughs> can you do one one smile? Perfect. 